Welcome back, Aquarium Co-op Fish Nerms. I hope you're enjoying nature like I am daily. Got another exciting fish box here. Let's hit it. Let's see what's in box number one. Oh, ooh. That was like 12 feet, if there wasn't a wall there. Ooh, what's this? We got some zebra loaches. Assassins for your snails. Bigger than the uh, your dwarf chain loaches. It's gonna be like around, I think, three and a half inches, if I recall. Do yourself a favor, get three or more. I would say probably get six. I think you're gonna enjoy that. Got the green neon tetras, very ghostly looking. I mean, we say bare minimum five to six, but I think you're gonna do yourself a favor if you get anything above 10. I think for these guys, if you could fit it in that tank, 50 would be awesome. Don't do it in a small tank though. <laughs> Pigmy Corridoras. I, we, so we paired these up in the shop with our green neon tetras. I really think this one does a lot better in a bigger group. So I would say like eight or more on these. I think there's a lot more happy action out of them. Nice thing is they don't get a whole lot bigger than what you're seeing right here. So even if you got yourself a 10 gallon, I, you can easily fit yourself, you know, eight, I think in there, no problem at all. First. These are a little bit more colored up. I wish those green neons were colored right now. So this is the Neon Tetra. This is a bread and butter staple for the aquarium co-op. Should be probably for any fish store if they're selling their fish correctly. It's a great beginner fish to the hobby. That's a classic, you know, whether it be a Neon Tetra or if you're gonna step it up a little bit and go with the Cardinal Tetra. That's just an awesome looking tank, no matter what. Oh, that would have gone 12 feet too. That box wasn't here. Ooh, got a nice little discus. Cobalt. Always say, uh, I would say recommend for temperatures 82 to 86, kind of where I like to do them. I think the 84, 86 is about the sweet spot. These love blood worms. You can do beef heart. Uh, do yourself a favor, try to get them on as much different kind of foods as possible. Even stuff like Viber Bites is great. That way, um, if you can't get one of those foods down the road, at least you have something else you can kind of feed them. All right, so this is one a little exciting here. This is the Golden Striped Goby Stiphodon Orofuscus. Kind of a little dirty brown fish, but I think once these calm down and get the male, it should be pretty cool looking. So we we'll probably have to try to get B-roll if we can. I want to guess these are going to look good in about two days. And being a stiphodon, it should be good for uh, omnivore diet. So nice little alternative algae eater. And super exciting. Common autosynclus. Very important for pretty much any planted tank. Great for that diatom algae. Once you run out, food like that. Make sure you're getting uh, stuff like rapashi, morning wood. I think they, Corey's found out in the wild, they eat a lot of like kind of decaying wood matter. So we've now put uh, like bits of chola wood and manzanita wood in the tanks that we quarantine them in, help get some food to them. I think tomorrow we're gonna be, uh, almost went in the fish tank. I think we're gonna be touching like 60 degrees. Finally done with the 80 degree weather, like mid late October. All right, so we got the dwarf anchor catfish. These are so cool. The awesomest fish you'll never see in your fish tank. Always kind of blown away how orange these come in. Once they sit in our substrate, they'll very much darken out, blend in with their surroundings. They don't really get much bigger than this. We keep them in with our shrimp, uh, no issues on our behalf. In fact, we will have shrimp breed in our tanks, which is kind of crazy with these guys thinking you're having a catfish in a breeding shrimp tank. Yeah, Celestial Pearl Daniels. We try to sit on these for, gosh, about two weeks. Pump them up full of uh, live baby brine shrimp, so that way they do awesome. There we go, we got ourselves a female bettas here. Half moon kois. There's one or two real cool ones in there. 
Now we don't recommend doing the sorority tank long term. They just don't work out well. But I think if you do a female by themselves in a tank, uh, I think they always work out for me, like in a community situation. They can be a little punkish, but you know, pair them up with Neon Tetras, Corridors, things like that. No problem. Exclamation point, Rasbora. These will look great probably in a few days. Quintessential Nanofish. Do these in your small nano tanks. Five gallons, four gallons. You even do them in 10 gallons, no problem. Ooh, we haven't had these in for a while. We've got some tiger barbs. Someone's going to have a rambunctious tank down the road. Uh, I would say for keeping these, get 12 or more. Do anything less than that. That's where you're going to have more of that aggressive issues, that thin nipping. Uh, this is a fish I think you definitely want to keep um, 12 or more, and they'll keep that aggression way down. Just keep in mind, they are going to get big. I mean, we're talking like full grown. Like I think when Corey brought his big, big ones in, you know, that was a fish like that big. So, you know, it might look great right now going into that 20 gallon, but that's going to be too small down the road. So I would say, honestly, uh, I'd, I'd be doing like 55 and up uh, gallons for, for those fish if you want to keep them well. Got the chili rasboras, also known as the brigate rasboras. Not super cool looking right now, but this is going to be an awesome looking fish in about a week. Um, I do prefer these a little bit more than the exclamation point rasboras once these color up. Alrighty. See some bettas. Let's take a look at some bettas. Got crown tail. It's kind of a tie dye jean one. I dig it. I like it. Dark colored one. Kind of call that maybe like a steel blue. Oh. What color would you call that? Put it below in the, in the comment section. Pearl grommies. It's what Rob calls a good fish. Great alternative to an angelfish. Kind of comparable in body size. I think I prefer these over an angelfish. Not angelfish could be like little punks when sometimes they grow up. I think these usually stay pretty nice, in my opinion. Ooh, this looks good. I like this color. This color is speaking to me coming out of the box. We got the sunset flatty. Looking great out of the box. Can't wait to see how these look here in a few days. We can feed them a good little diet, get some krill flakes in there daily with them, maybe in about 30 days, they'll brighten that reds up a little bit. Might pop that orange just a little bit more. Yeah, oh, we can't do this one. I can't get the rubber band off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the hardest rubber band in my six years. There. All right, we got Remy Nose Tetris here. the canary for your fish tank. The redder that nose, the happier the fish is. It means you got great water quality going on. It's a happy fish. So if you see them kind of ghosted out, um, obviously check your water. I mean, aside from stress, but it could be something going on in your tank. It's a nice indicator for your aquarium. Um, it's a fun fish. I kind of call them the greyhounds of the tetras. Uh, they really like to school tight and kind of run around, run around in a tank. Ooh, look at that little bag of udon noodles there. Coolie loaches. Do yourself a favor, buy the entire bag. Won't regret it. I just can't get enough of them like clowning into like small little capisto caves. They love company. So uh, I would say like, I mean, we say bare minimum three, but yeah, you got to go more. I think on these, you like eight at least, if not more. They love company. They're going to be much more out and about, bigger the school numbers. Last one. Why not end this with a classic fish, the swordtail. This is the pineapple variation. It's going to look pretty good here in a few days once they kind of color up a little bit more. 
Maybe get some food in there and influence those colors a little bit. So anything with krill in there would be great. Good classic live bear. As always, smash that like button. Hit the comment section. Tell us what you think. I do read through the comments. So be nice. Enjoy nature. See you next time. We hope you enjoyed this video. To watch another one just like this, click here.